Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. So that's uh, what defines me or any soldier in uniform. Well, uh, my achievement uh, for last one year, if I have to put it out, is one, is that in last about a year plus, more than 200, 250 youth who were possibly on the cusp of becoming a terrorist and majority of them who had become terrorists have in some form or other brought back to the society. That's my achievement. And uh, rest everybody achieves in terms of operation realm, in terms of uh, actions in the valley and such like things. I don't think that's very important to me and uh, important to our army or Rashtri Rifle today for us to ensure that not a woman, mother, daughter, wife has to cry for a loss which is happening because somebody has become a terrorist was important. I had come up with a philosophy of breaking the cycle of violence in which on one side we kept on neutralizing terrorists including killing or taking surrenders or apprehensions and on the second side we wanted to reduce the number of terrorists, uh, youth picking up arms and I think we have done well on both the both the levels. Most importantly, what transition has taken place that today Jammu and Kashmir police, instead of going on to the tech realm for intelligence, is getting so much of a human intelligence that people don't want terrorists to come out and stay in the houses. They are not wanting to be openly called as terrorist support uh, uh, terrorist supporters. There are places where even the supporters of terrorists or so-called OGWs are being subjected to, you know, are being isolated. There's a change which is happening. I think that's a major thing which has happened here and I'm very happy for uh, these changes. So, you see, hybrid threat uh, terrorist was a threat maybe about eight, nine months back when uh, people were not able to realize, even the population was not able to understand that today, uh, uh, why is it somebody who's been picked up by the police uh, was a good person, a common person, a student uh, of a school working in an orchard or a person sitting on a shop and suddenly by the police has picked him up uh, as a terrorist because he was not claiming himself to be a proclaimed uh, terrorist. So the concept has undergone a change and it was a threat but uh, in very quick time as uh, security forces evolved, this system has been evolved, the numbers of hybrid terrorists have started coming down and uh, we see that uh, with the public support we are able to identify anybody who picks up a weapon or carries out a killing basically in a very criminalistic uh, manner is identified very quickly and thereafter he is removed from the society. I think the society has to be now become more vigilant about these things, especially the parents that where the children are going, what they are watching, so that they can keep a watch and ensure that a young man uh, of you know 16, 17 to 20 years old is not given a weapon to carry out a killing of a common civilian uh, at the behest of people who want to ensure that the society carries out be terrorized. Nobody is happy, uh, you know, there are some elements are totally unhappy with the progress, peace and tranquility which is now coming out as a permanent uh, measure and therefore they will keep on uh, evolving new systems to ensure disturbance on this. So, sir, sir, how much have been the ceasefire uh, agreement favorable for you to fight counter in Kashmir? No, no, why should be uh, ceasefire violations or understanding uh, doesn't make a difference to us either way. For us as a military, it doesn't make a difference. But as a citizen of the country, I feel it's very important for our people who are sitting on the staying on the border areas. Life for them has become normal. They are going as per for the businesses as usual. I think that is more important. And I think even on the other side, the civilian population, which is again Kashmiris basically, they're also living a life of uh, tranquility and happiness. For security forces, there's never a challenge. But for people, there is a challenge. Uh, all changes are for good. I am very sure my sister is more qualified than me and he will do much better than me in managing the environment here and there. See? Sir, Amanath Yatra is after two years. How do you see the security challenge? Because there are inputs that uh, sense of targets which are hit over the last two years. My question is that uh, when is there no security challenge for... No, this uh, year, do you see any added threat or uh, what? There will be threats all the time and we will be always prepared. The uh, security system is being put in place. It will be a good security system, we don't have to worry about it. Sir, what about the amnesty policy? Uh, what what do you have found during your time that it has really yielded results? Yes, it has yielded results. The amnesty policy is very simple. You picked up a weapon, you are on the wrong path, step out, join the social uh, stream. If you don't want to come publicly for center, 
reach out to the nearest company commander of RR or uh, police force. Uh, we will ensure that you are taken out of circulation, uh, go through the process of rule of law, and thereafter join the society. That's the best possibly uh, possible messy thing to happen. A number of people have opted for it. It will be better for interest of those people who do want to have it. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.